Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, with the lockdown period still going on, many teachers like me are facing difficulties in uh, evaluating the students' performance even after taking online classes. So uh, during the last one week, I have uh, taken three tests, online tests for my students in Google Classroom and I find it quite useful. So I'll, I'll discuss how we can use Google Classroom to design online tests for the students. So we, we can type Google Classroom in the Google search bar. So immediately we will get uh, this particular page and we can click here. It will take us to this, this page on Google Classroom. So there will be an option called Go to Classroom. So if we click that, uh, we will go to this page so uh, here i uh, this is the page uh, that i had created so all the three uh, three semesters are included in this uh, in my classroom so when we go to a new uh, such classroom dashboard we will get a plus symbol here so on that plus symbol there are two options join a class and create a class so we can click the option create a class so there will be a warning or yeah, terms and conditions like that and click on continue then here we can type the name of the class say uh, I write it as a simple class some section some subjects okay, in the subject suppose I am writing mathematics and then we can click create so it will create a class uh, with the name sample class and uh, immediately we, we can see there is a code given here so this this is the code b7 i e o d5 so we can share this code with the students uh, for whom we have created the class okay and uh, when they will log on log into their student uh, account in google classroom they will be asked uh, to provide a code they, they will have to select join a class then the google will ask them to provide a code so in that case uh, they will provide this particular code to join the class okay. so here uh, say for example i have this class for my 6m honor students so once the students join the list of the students will be displayed in this uh, tab that is the people tab here so uh, these are the students who, who, who are enrolled in my class so we need to share the code with the students suppose now i want to create an online test so you go to classwork and then click the create option so there are several options here so we'll select the quiz assignment option immediately we'll get this page so here we can write something like say simple quiz or say simple test and then the, we can provide some in, in instructions here say full marks is say 20 uh, all questions are compulsory uh, anything else that is required as an in instruction so here there is an option called points so we can modify that suppose I have uh, kept the test for 20 marks so I will click 20 here and then um, so the, here we can see for which class we have assigned so we have assigned it for uh, the sample class here and for which students so we will assign it for all students okay then uh, there is an option here uh, we can schedule this test to a future date okay suppose we schedule it for tomorrow at say 7 pm okay, and then we can select this option and click schedule here so we can uh, let the students know in advance that uh, you have a test which is scheduled for 24th april at 7 p.m. so all of you get prepared for that test okay so now uh, we have not added any questions here so let us see how to add the question so there is a blank quiz form here we click on that quiz form and we will edit it okay, there is this edit option yeah so this is the edit option that we have so we can type our questions so before that there are some settings which are uh, preferable in uh, designing online tests so we click on this settings so there uh, the, there is an option called collect email address so it's better to click this option and the, or select this option so
so when the students will appear for the test the google classroom will ask them to enter their email addresses okay there is another option to, for limiting one uh, response to uh, limiting the response to only one at a time right it means one student can enter uh, submit one response so that also we can give uh, but if we give that the students will need to sign in to google so that's not a problem uh, we, uh, we can unmark that also and that's not a problem then we go to this presentation there is a uh, option called show link to submit another option uh, response so this uh, it's better to unclick that we don't want one student to submit more than one response there is an option called shuffle question order which is quite useful uh, the students every students will get the questions in a different order okay so th that's a good option to choose if, if we are designing online tests then we'll go to quizzes so there is this make this a quiz uh, th there are two options for releasing the grades so i do not use the first option i use the second option uh, that is uh, release the grades later after manual review so once the students all students submit their responses so there is a time limit which i uh, which we can fix and i'll show you that after that time limit automatically the form will stop accepting any more responses so after that we can release the scores the teacher can have a look and then release the scores so once the scores are released the students can see missed questions which questions they have missed uh, what are the correct answers they can see once the release uh, scores are released okay and the and the point values that is the points they have scored okay. so that we can click so we'll save it here so we see that uh, the form is collecting email addresses so we can enter uh, some more information here enter your name uh, because the scores roll number etc will be listed in a file in a excel sheet okay so it will be very useful for us if we collect the name and roll number automatically okay. enter your roll number roll number okay, this option will so we can give and we can click required here that is it is necessary to enter this information okay without entering this they will they will not be able to go to the next section so the next section we can go to the next section by clicking add section there is an add section option so this is the name of the section we can modify say the quiz begins begins okay like that and then we can click the add options a add question options see the first question something like this there are some options some options will be there and say these are some of the other options and we will choose an answer key okay suppose this is the the second one is the correct one so we will choose it and we will assign the points here suppose i want it to be of one one mark and then click done and then click required if we want to make this question a compulsory question okay then similarly we can select another question say this question uh, maybe we can choose it as a drop down option so this is one this is another maybe this is another okay. so, and then suppose we select the answer key say this is the first first option is correct so we select that and assign the points there and click on done okay and then click required so here in this test i have uh, created only two questions so just as a sample uh, next i want to uh, i want that the forms should be submitted within a particular time frame say from 7 pm to 7 15 pm if it is a 15 minute test so in that case what we will do we go to this uh, there are three dots here so uh, there is an option called add-ons so we'll go to this option add-ons options and then uh, uh, there are several apps here so there is one app called form limiter so we will click that op um, app and we will install it okay so after we install that uh, it will it will show up in this particular icon add-ons icon so there is this option called form limiter okay so the, there will be an option called set limit okay so here um, it's not showing here okay there will be an option called set limit and where we can uh, yeah okay let us see this again go to this add-ons form limiter okay so say okay, i uninstall this again and install it okay 
so there is an install option here so we install this So it will ask us for signing in or cho choosing the Google account. Yeah, choose an account to continue. So we can choose this. That is your own account. We can choose. And then it will ask for some permission. So you have to allow those. Allow. Okay, so it is installed. Right. Okay. So it is installed, yeah. So once it is installed, we'll get uh, this type of option here, form limiter. Uh, so usually we get it from here itself, form limiter, then there is an option called set limit. Okay, we can get it from here itself, okay. So the um, earlier it was showing some problem probably. So after, after we get this, we select uh, date and time. Okay, limit response, stop accepting responses when the date is Say we had uh, scheduled the test for 24th April at uh, 7 p.m. So I want that it should work only up to say, say I, I want it for, uh, as a 15 minutes test. Still I uh, because there will be some network problem, so I uh, keep it up to 7:16. So the form will accept responses only up to 7:16 after 7:16 uh, p.m. and after that it will close automatically. Okay. So this is what uh, I have done. Yeah, I've given it up to seven. So there is a message which we can show. This form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close by. So you can edit it uh, by uh, your teacher maybe. So you can write it as by your teacher. Okay, or any other message that you want to print, you can print it. And then click uh, save and enable. Okay, so it will uh, save this settings and then so let us wait for some time. See. Okay, so that way it will uh, it will save. So there is some connection problem problem probably. So we can save it that way. Okay, and then we can assign them uh, the, this test to the students. Okay, so it's scheduled for 7 p.m. on uh, April 24th. Okay, so we have clicked this option. So when it is uh, so you can let the students know that uh, your test is scheduled for this. So you can click here and write your test is, is scheduled for 7 p.m. 24th April okay. 7 p.m. 24th April okay and then you can post it so the students those uh, you have added or uh, have the, those who have joined your class will be able to sh see this okay and that way they can appear for this particular quiz Okay, so this is the way we can um, create online tests. Okay, so let us have a uh, preview how this is. So suppose I write it with this. So the students will get this type of things. Next. Okay, so this is the first question. Say this was. So you see the order of the question is shuffled. This was the second question that we had written. So the order of the questions here is shuffled, right? So this is the question. Uh, so say I choose this as the answer, and the second question is this. Say suppose I choose this as the answer, and then click submit. Okay. 
okay. so your response has been recorded okay. right so uh, so the teacher will be able to see those responses so there will be a, a short analysis of the responses as well what are what is the average score of the, um, of the students okay what is the median score uh, what are the range of points that have been scored and which student has scored what okay. and how many uh, questions have been answered correct correctly by how many students everything will be shown in this analysis okay so this is a very uh, good way to conduct uh, this uh, tests okay and so there is an option for releasing the scores as well uh, this option so once we on, on, once all the students submit uh, and uh, say after uh, 10 or 15 minutes of the test or whenever the teacher likes he can release the scores here by cl clicking this option okay, release scores and there is a option for sending some message also okay well done or something like this or whatever be your feedback you can just send it to the, your students okay so all students will receive a email copy of their responses and their scores as well okay so this was about uh, creating uh, online tests in Google Classroom. So it's quite a, a useful thing to do, uh, particularly in this period of lockdown uh, when the classes are yet to begin. So we hope that uh, the classes begin soon. Thank you.